Hi everyone, this is Tejashwini from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session. Today's session is on how to install Selenium WebDriver for Java in Eclipse. So without any delay, let's go through the agenda. To install Selenium WebDriver, we require some of the important prerequisites. So in this session, we will start by installing Java, followed by installing Eclipse. Once we have installed both of the prerequisites successfully, then we will install Selenium WebDriver. And once we install Selenium WebDriver and we have the whole setup ready. And at last, we will create a small project using Selenium WebDriver. But before we go ahead, just make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest Edureka videos. And also, if you are interested in getting an online training certification course in Selenium, then please check out the link given in the description box. So here, we will be installing the latest version of Java. So here, you must keep in mind that the Java version must be 8 or above. After that, we will be installing the Java from the official website that is Oracle. Once after the installation, we will also configure Java by setting the path in the system. After that, we will check whether the Java is installed successfully or not. Now let's do the demo. So install Java, we must go to a official website of Oracle. So here, as you can see, we have Java downloads Oracle. So just click on that. And you can see here Java 18 and Java 17 are available now. So we have to download the software according to our operating system. So I am using Windows. So let me go to Windows here. So I'll install here the 64 installer. So let me click on this. One of our folk has asked me a question. Let's see. Okay, Kirti have asked me that whether we can install other sizes too. Yes, according to your system's compatibility, you can install whichever the feasible size is. So you can install 84 installer too. I hope you understood, Kirti. Once it get downloads, just click on the executable file and it asks you for the setup procedure. Now here it is asking for the installation process. So let's click on next. And this is the path where the Java JDK is installed. So until and unless if you have a good reason to change it, then you can change it or else I'll suggest you to keep as a default folder. So let's click on next. As you can see here, the Java is successfully installed. Let's close this window. Now let us configure this Java. Now let's go to the file explorer. Let us find where the Java is installed. So go to C folder, program files. And you can see here the Java folder. So double click on that. You can see the version. 18.0.2 have been installed. So that is the latest and stable version that is available today. Now double click on this too. So you will find the bin folder here. So this is the main folder. So double click on this too. You can see many files has been installed here. So let us copy the path from this folder. So copy this path. Now go to settings. Find for environment variables. So you can see here edit the system environment variables. Okay, let's click on this. As you can see here, we have the environment variables. So click on that. You have the system variables. So you have to change the path over here. So it will be edited in the whole system. Now you can see the path over here. So just click on that. and add a new and paste the copied path over here. Now just click on OK. OK. Now let's check whether Java is installed properly or not. So let's go to comment prompt. Now let's type Java space hyphen version to check which version has been installed. 
yeah you can see here 18.0.2 has been installed now let's check for java c so you can see here the java has been installed successfully we have all the java packages here so now we have successfully installed java now let's install the second prerequisite that is eclipse editor here as you can see first we have to install or download the eclipse from the official website after that we will get a zip file that has been installed after that we have to extract from the zipper file then we will be running the application now let's see the demo now for eclipse download we have to go to a official website that is www.eclipse.org now let's click on this link you can see the eclipse ide 2022 so i'll download this this is the last button download this might take you a few minutes so once this executable file is downloaded just click on this okay now you can see here the eclipse installer has been installed and this will give you some of the options to click on so if you want to work on the java codes or you want to become a java developer and work on some codes then you can click on this or you have many other options you can use c c plus plus or it will be feasible for php too so in this session i will be using the java developers so i'll click on this to install i'll click on install so let's wait till it gets installed so in between installation it might also ask you for the agreement so you can also agree the policies and make sure you have checked all these buttons also so it is very important so to create a shortcut in your desktop so you if you want to create a shortcut in your desktop then you can click on this or you can uncheck this okay as you can see the installation completed successfully let's launch this now it is asking you for the workspace now if you want to keep the default then you can keep it until and unless you have a good reason to change it so in my case i will keep it as it is i'll launch it so as you can see here the editor has been opened so if you want to create a new java project you can click on a create new java project and you can fill the name the project name and you can create some packages classes etc and that will be shown in this session too so don't worry stay tuned so now we have successfully installed both of the prerequisite that is java and eclipse now the main concept is selenium web driver come let's see how to install that the first and the main thing you have to see is the latest stable version so at this point of time we have the stable version has 4.3.0 so you can see the latest version whenever you install and the next thing you have to see is the browser driver if you are working on selenium you have to have a browser drivers to execute some of the code or the selenium scripts so that you need some of the browser drivers and finally we will also see the configuration of the selenium on our eclipse so let's see the demo so go to browser and type selenium org and you will get a selenium's official website so click on the selenium and you can see the home page of selenium and click on downloads you can see here the latest table version is 4.3.0 so just click on this so this is a jar file that will be downloaded the next thing that we have to download is the java client and if you scroll down you will get the java client over here that is also the version 4.3.0 just click on that too now after downloading these both now go to file explorer go to downloads and i am creating a folder in c drive called as selenium web driver and now i will move this both jar file as well as the java client over here 
now as you can see here the java client is a zipped file so let's unzip this and extract all the files over here as you can see we have downloaded the selenium server jar file as well as the java client too now java client is a zipper file so now i have extracted also now what will i do is i'll go to c folder now i have created a selenium web driver folder inside the c folder now i will copy both of the files over here so let's copy this and i will go to c folder now you can see here i have created a selenium web driver folder so i'll paste it over here now copy the jar file too okay now once we have installed both the files over here now let's go and install the browser driver too as i am using chrome here as a browser so i will install a chrome driver so let's write chrome driver so click on the first link here to check which version are you using just go to this menu click on help and google chrome and you can see the version over here that is 103.0.5060 we have to install the same chrome driver version so that is the reason we checked now now let's go to the official website and let's click on this version and the latest stable version over here is this so let's click on this version or click on the version which you need minus windows and if your operating system is under linux or mac then you can install according to it so i'll install the win as i said you the chrome driver is a zip file so let's extract this over here and copy the extracted file and go to the folder where our selenium files are located so let's create a folder over here called chrome driver now paste this chrome files inside this folder okay now all set now this is how we install the selenium web driver now let's see the demo with a small example so now let us go to our eclipse and start coding with the small example okay now let's start a new java project so click on create new java project so let's write a project name has selenium demo 1 so here just make sure the java sc is minimum of 1.8 so let's finish so we have created a java project name now let's create a package over here right click on this click on new and you can see here the package over here right so click on that let's write package name as edureka you can write whichever name you wish to now as we created the package here let's create a class over here so i'll click on new here class so i will give the class name as selenium script and don't forget to click this public static void mean because it is very important yeah and you can see here the package name is edureka and the class name is selenium script and the public static void main and now let's start writing the code now we want the chrome driver to be installed over here and yeah before that we just include the selenium files over here so just right click over here and you can see the build path over here right just click on this and configure build path and you can see the library over here just click on that and add external jar files because we have not added the selenium jar files till now so let's click on this the jar file and open then apply and close it now we have included the referenced libraries over here now let's start writing the code so first we want the 
selenium drivers to be included so let's write system dot set property you can see here set properties just write set property inside the quotes just write web driver dot chrome dot driver and after this just give a comma and include the chrome driver path over here so for that let's go to the file explorer and go to the selenium web driver folder and you can see the chrome driver folder here just double click on this and you can see the files over here just copy the path and go to the editor again and paste it over here and please don't forget to write this chrome driver dot exe let's close this now just write web driver space driver which is equals to new chrome drive close this too and as you can see we have an error over here just hover on the chrome driver and you will get a quick fixes over here just import the chrome driver and do the same for the web driver too and import the web driver now we expect the output to be shown as a website so i will give www.edureka.co as a output website now i want to get a edureka.co as a output website so that just write driver dot get and write the website whichever you want to be executed i will give the edureka link over here and next i have to print the title whichever comes over the tab so i will just print the title over here for that system dot out dot print ln driver dot get title just close this too for automatically quitting of the browser we just write the driver to quit just driver dot quit and let's run this and see just run select the folder to be saved as you can see the edureka page has been opened here you can see the courses over here too and the browser got exited automatically and also you can see the title over here that just got printed from the tab so this is the final output that we just got now i will just take out this code and just run as you can see here i just took out the code from that script and the browser will stay for long time and until and unless you close that window the browser does not close so that is why i took out the code over there and you see here the website is staying for a long time that is the reason and you can see the title again printed over here that's all from my end i hope you enjoyed the session and learned about how to install selenium web driver for java using eclipse and i hope you also implement it by yourself until then happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning